Hey guys, welcome to another Elvis story video. So, in 1970, Elvis Presley won what was called the JC's Award for being one of the most 10 outstanding young men in America. And now, on January 16th, just eight days after his 36th birthday, Elvis accepted the award at the Ellis Auditorium at a ceremony and he gave one of the most memorable speeches um, in his life and the thing of it is um, this was the only award ceremony that Elvis ever attended in his life for all the awards that he ever won this was the only one he ever attended so now some of you um, might not know who exactly the JCs are and why they gave Elvis an award. Um, judging by all the videos out there, I haven't seen many really uh, giving a story about exactly who the JCs were. Okay, so um, I got a bunch of reading I'm going to do because I have uh, information about who the JCs were. And what they did and why Elvis received an award so to start you guys bear with me I might slip up here and there it's a lot to read so but I want to give you guys like a lot of detail on this because I always felt you know uh, people should know more about uh, exactly who the JC's were so Without any further ado, I'm going to dive right into it. If I slip up, if I pause, please bear with me. <laughs> okay, guys? I appreciate your patience. <laughs> so basically, um, the JCs or the JCI, which is the Junior Chamber, um, and it's basically, it's called the United States Junior Chamber, also known as the JCs, J-A-Y-C-E-E-S. The initials JCs, or J-C-I initial USA. And it's a, uh, it's a leadership training service organization and civic organization for people between the ages of 18 and 40. And it, it is a branch of the Junior Chamber International. So that's what JCI stands for. So now uh, JCI was founded January 21st, 1920 by a man named Henry Glessenbeer. And it actually still exists to this day. And uh, after you're done with this video, you could... Um, Visit their website, www.jciusa.org. So, okay, so to get into it, uh, established as the United States Junior Chamber of Commerce in January 21st, 1920, JCI provided opportunities for young men to develop personal and leadership skills through the service of others. The JCs later expanded to include women after the United States Supreme Court ruled in 1984 case Roberts versus United States JCs that Minnesota could prohibit discrimination in private organizations. The following year, 1985, marked the final year of the U.S. JC women, also known as JCs or JCs, an organization that lasted 10 years and at its convention in 1984 in Atlanta boasted 59,000 members. At its membership peak in 1976, the US JCs boasted a membership total of 356,000 men between the ages of 18 and 35. 
Rules were later changed to allow members to stay active until age 40. So this here is going to be what the JC's um, credo is basically that I'm going to read right now. The JC's or Junior Chamber is a worldwide community of young active citizens ages 18 to 40 who share the belief that in order to create positive change, we must take collective action to improve ourselves and the world around us. Engaging in activities ranging from community development to international projects, members demonstrate their social responsibility and improve themselves through participa participa eh, excuse me, <laughs> participation, leadership, and action. Our goal is to provide leadership training through community service. The individual development area sets the junior chamber apart from other organizations. While many other groups offer community service and social activities, only junior chamber chapters offers members the opportunity for self-improvement. By chairing a local project, a young person can practice organization, delegation, time and resource management, public relations, and motivational skills. The JCs also offer training programs, usually at no cost to a member, that teach these skills. Even if a project does not meet its goals, if the chairperson learned from the experience, then it's not a failure. The junior chamber organization starts with the local chapter. The chapter will typically serve one or more communities. Chapter mem members are automatically a member of a state organization as well as a national org organization and the international organization as well. So that basically is what uh, the JCs is. It encourages uh, young men and women to do more in society to uh, to enhance um, society in a positive way, more or less, to do uh, like community service stuff like that, you know, helping one another. Um, it, it's well, you guys can read between the lines basically if you want to go back and listen to what I just said again. That's more or less what their credo is. It's uh, people that go out of their way more or less to improve themselves, improve society. You know, it's basically in that area. So, so as far as um, the story with Elvis, how it goes with him and the JCs, in 1970, Elvis was named one of the 10 outstanding young men by the United States Junior Chamber, or the JCs. It was the only award he ever accepted in person and it was the only award he carried with him everywhere he went for the rest of his life. The 10 Outstanding Young Men program, now renamed the 10 Outstanding Young Americans, was created by the JCs in 1938 to honor 10 Americans aged 18 to 40 who best exemplify the highest attributes of the nation's emerging generation according to the JC's website. Men and women who excel in all fields, including entertainment, sports, business, academics, politics, medicine, science, business, tech, uh, technology, and humanitarian efforts are honored. Um, in 1970, Elvis was close friends with Bill Morris. Bill was the Shelby County Sheriff in uh, Tennessee, and he went on to serve as the mayor of Memphis. Bill nominated Elvis for inclusion in the 10 Outstanding Young Men, thanks to his impact on music and culture, not to mention Elvis's charitable heart. 
Elvis constantly donated to charities, especially those in Memphis and in Shelby County. Elvis was incredibly honored by his inclusion in the 10 Outstanding Young Men. Now, he and Priscilla attended the JCC Prayer Breakfast at the Memphis Holiday Inn, Rivermont. And later that afternoon, United Nations Ambassador appointee and future U.S. President George H.W. Bush spoke at the JCC luncheon. That evening, Elvis and Priscilla held a reception at Graceland for the award winners and JC official, officials, followed by a formal dinner at the Four Flames restaurant. Now, here's where we get to... Uh, where Elvis gave his speech. Later on that day, that evening, the 8 p.m. awards ceremony took place at Ellis Auditorium, a building very special to Elvis. He went to plenty of concerts there and eventually performed there himself as a young singer. Elvis always commanded a stage and that's what he did with his heartfelt speech at the awards ceremony. He quoted one of his favorite Roy Hamilton songs in his acceptance speech. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys know how the speech went. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to read uh, verbatim <clears throat> what Elvis' speech was. Elvis got up on the stage. He accepted his uh, JC's award. And after the audience calmed down a little bit, Elvis began to give a speech and he said, When I was a child, ladies and gentlemen, I was a dreamer. I read comic books and I was the hero of the comic book. I saw movies and I was the hero in the movie. So every dream that I ever dreamed has come true a hundred times. I learned very early in life that without a song, the day would never end. Without a song, a man ain't got a friend. Without a song, the road would never bend. Without a song, so I keep singing a song. Elvis's 10 Outstanding Young Men Award was one of his most prized possessions. The trophy itself is named the Jason, J-A-Y-S-O-N, which stands for JC's Active Youth serving our nation. Each award weighs 11 and a half pounds and is made out of a marble base with, a, with nickel plated hands. Now, if you guys have ever seen uh, this award, it's, um, I have a picture of, he, of it here. I don't know if I put it up on here already. <laughs> um, it's basically two hands coming together. And it's, uh, it's made out of nickel, I believe. Nickel plated. Yeah, nickel plated. So, Elvis basically, uh, he was so moved by this award that he, he pretty much took this trophy with him on all his travels the rest of his life. So everywhere Elvis went, he had that award with him. Much like the attendance belt, how he wore that for a few years. Elvis took this JC's trophy because it meant a lot to him. And um, he took it everywhere he went. And uh, according to what's written here, he it has like a lot of, it's a little worn down, maybe a little nicks on it and stuff. That's because he had it with him anywhere he went. So... And for a little more information, if you guys ever go to uh, Graceland or you have been, the trophy itself and the suit that Elvis wore to the awards ceremony are both now on display at Graceland. Uh, that's as far as uh, Graceland.com saying this. I don't know if, if it's still there. I would imagine it would be. Um, this was something that was unbelievably uh, huge to Elvis, you know? So like I said, and like it says in here, 
this was of all the awards he ever won even like with those three grammys that he won this um was the only actual uh ceremony that he attended he didn't attend any other ones for anything that he ever won and that that's you know but he it, it's not um Let's not mistake this as something, you know, he thought his other awards were less than the JCs. You know, Elvis was a busy, busy man. Anybody that's a fan knows this. Elvis was a busy, busy man. You know, I don't know how many, like with his Vegas shows going on at that time. Um, then he jumped right into the touring around the country. I mean, he, he was always a busy man. So I, I don't believe... Um, he f felt any less about any other awards he won. This could have been just, I mean, I mean, knowing Elvis, he was a smart man. So I'm sure before he won this award, either he knew who the JCs were, what they stood for, or he looked into it and read about it because Elvis was an avid reader. You know, everybody knows that. So... All right, guys, I just wanted to give you, um, like I said, everybody's pretty much familiar with the fact that Elvis won the JC's award for being one of the most 10 outstanding young men in America in 70, and then he had the speech in 71. Everybody, that's pretty much cut and dry. To, almost everybody knows that, but my point of doing this video was number one because it's so very important to Elvis. And number two, I felt uh, a need to explain to everybody exactly, you know, who the JCs are and why they gave this award to Elvis. And it was basically basically because Elvis was a self selfless person. You know, they they just it wasn't an honorary thing that they just threw his name in the hat. You know, just to give Elvis an award. He really deserved this award because Elvis lived his life like that. Everything that the JCs exemplified, that's how Elvis Presley lived his, lived his life. He was always giving to, God, I don't know how many charities he gave. I think he gave away more than half his fortune as far as charities, helping people. You know, he always, ple uh, excuse me, he, he always passed his blessing along. He knew he was blessed and he always passed it along and did anything he could to en enhance the community uh, community around him you know be it donating to uh youth organizations donating to uh maybe police officer funds <clears throat> excuse me or or uh the state of tennessee itself to help you know with the uh, various charities you know, um, that's something he did nonstop. And that's what the JC stood for. So it wasn't just like a, um, let's just give Elvis an award type of thing. He really, he really, like I said, he really uh, exemplified what the JC stood for. He really did when you look at it. So, all right, guys, um, I hope. I was able to uh, explain this well exactly who the JCs were and what they stood for and why Elvis won the award. <laughs> I hope I explained that well. <laughs> but um, and I appreciate you guys uh, getting through it with me because you know sometimes trying to read these things, it you know you can get a little lost along the way. <laughs> but I hope you better understand. Like I said, if you have to, go back and watch this video again and listen to what I said. And um, I believe a lot of this information also can be found on Graceland.com about when he won the JCs. And like I said before, if you guys are ever at Graceland and, and you haven't seen it before, um, make sure you check out uh, Elvis's JCs award on stage because like I said that was pretty much 
I don't want to say his favorite, but I think an award that meant the most to him out of all his awards. You know, he and you guys know Elvis got a lot of awards in his life, but that one to him stood out the most because that award really represented who Elvis Presley really was when you think about it. You know what I mean? So, all right, guys. Um, also, in this video, um, I know you guys heard this speech a million times, but uh, I think it's only right at the end of this video that I put his actual speech in here. Okay? Because uh, I know I read it. I know you guys have heard it a million times, but it should be put in this video. Okay? All right, guys, I hope everybody is doing well. I thank you so much for watching this video and for putting up with my reading. <laughs> and uh, I thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. And um, if you like the video, when you get done, if you wouldn't mind, just give that like button a quick hit because it really, really helps me out and I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, I hope you all doing well. And as always... TCB, and God bless. Uh, when I was a child, ladies and gentlemen, I was a dreamer. And I read comic books and I was the hero of the comic book. I saw movies and I was the hero in the movie. So every dream that I ever dreamed has come true a hundred times. And these gentlemen over here, you see these type of people who care, who are dedicated, you realize that it's not possible that they might be building the kingdom of heaven. It's not too far-fetched in reality. I'd like to say that uh, I learned very early in life that without a song, the day would never end. Without a song, a man ain't got a friend. Without, without a song, the world would never bend. Without a song. So I keep singing the song. Good night. Thank you.